Apple just updated GarageBand for iOS to version 2.3.13. Bug and stability fixes, a brand new sound pack, and one under the radar change that might give a wee hint at some bigger things coming further down the line. What's new in this update then? Well, you can see the full release notes on your screen right now. I'll link to those in the description as well. Note that on iPhone, you'll need to be running iOS 16 to get this update. On iPad, I was able to update while on iPad OS 15.6.1. On the face of it, there doesn't seem to be any massive changes really. They've ironed out issues with some sounds where dragging specific loops in didn't play back properly, or instruments didn't behave correctly, and fixed an iPhone specific interface bug. What stands out to me are these two in particular. Under performance, it reads, audio unit controls are no longer interrupted because the GarageBand audio engine now automatically restarts when an external device is connected. And under external hardware support, it reads, audio inputs from audio devices that do not use a USB class compliant driver are now available in GarageBand. Both of those changes suggest that Apple have made some pretty big changes to GarageBand's audio engine, that second one in particular being very interesting. I've reached out to Apple for some clarification on what it exactly means, but allowing non-class compliant USB audio interfaces to be used with your iDevice is pretty huge. Before this update, if you wanted to hook up an audio interface to say your iPad, it had to be class compliant, meaning it didn't require an extra driver to be installed to operate. If an interface requires a driver, it isn't class compliant and couldn't be used. This is suggesting that with GarageBand anyway, this is no longer the case, which potentially means that one, you'll be able to use older non-class compliant devices with your iPad or iPhone, and two, more excitingly, you may now be able to use Thunderbolt audio interfaces with GarageBand. Now, I may have this completely wrong, I haven't tested it yet, but if Apple are opening the door to proper professional grade audio production gear on iPad or on the models that have Thunderbolt inputs anyway, it suggests that they may be laying the groundwork for something a bit bigger. Alongside the update, Apple also released a brand new sound pack. And after my rant last week about their sound pack genre choices, how amazing would it be if the next time Apple dropped a brand new garage band sound pack, instead of the usual collection of 808s from yet another obscure trap subgenre, they released something a bit more. It's great to see them step out of their musical comfort zone with this hip hop pack. Beat Tape gives users access to over 240 Apple loops, six beat sequencer and drum kits, and one live loops grid. I must say some of the sounds in this pack are quite tasty. As always, the best place to get a feel for a new pack is with its live loops grid. The included drum sounds are solid too, and you can either play them via the touch drum interface,
Or if you're as rubbish at finger drumming as I am, load the six kits up into the beat sequencer. Beat Tape's loops are heavily sample based and are crying out to be chopped up and put back together in interesting ways. They're grouped together inside the loop browser itself, making it really easy to pull together a beat on the fly. The lo-fi hip-hop sounds on offer all sound great if you're into that sort of thing. And if you're not into that sort of thing, there are loads of useful drum and percussion loops here that will work in a variety of different genres. That's GarageBand version 2.3.13. The standout feature for me is that we can potentially now use non-class compliant interfaces, and that sound pack is pretty nice as well. Let me know your thoughts below, and if you can gently caress that like button on your way past, I'd really appreciate it. Now, if you'd like to join me in fantasizing about a world where Apple releases sound packs in genres you might actually find useful, watch this next. <laughs>